authorities differ on the meaning of calcination. The IUPAC defines it as heating to high temperatures in air or oxygen. However calcination is also used to mean a thermal treatment process in the absence or limited supply of air or oxygen applied to ores and other solid materials to bring about a thermal decomposition, phase transition, or removal of a volatile fraction. The calcination process normally takes place at temperatures below the melting point of the product materials. Calcination is not the same process as roasting. In roasting, more complex gas or euro solid reactions take place between the furnace atmosphere and the solids. Calcination takes place inside equipment called calciners. A calciner is a steel cylinder that rotates inside a heated furnace and performs indirect high temperature processing within a controlled atmosphere. Industrial processes. The process of calcination derives its name from the Latin calciner due to its most common application, the decomposition of calcium carbonate to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide, in order to create cement. The product of calcination is usually referred to in general as calcine, regardless of the actual minerals undergoing thermal treatment. Calcination is carried out in furnaces or reactors of various designs including shaft furnaces, rotary kilns, multiple hearth furnaces, and fluidized bed reactors. Examples of calcination processes include the following, decomposition of carbonate minerals, as in the calcination of limestone to drive off carbon dioxide. Decomposition of hydrated minerals, as in the calcination of bauxite and gypsum, to remove crystalline water as water vapor. Decomposition of volatile matter contained in raw petroleum coke. Heat treatment to affect phase transformations, as in conversion of anitars to rutal or devitrification of glass materials, removal of ammonium ions in the synthesis of zeolites. Calcination reactions. Calcination reactions usually take place at or above the thermal decomposition temperature or the transition temperature. This temperature is usually defined as the temperature at which the standard Gibbs free energy for a particular calcination reaction is equal to zero. For example, in limestone calcination, a decomposition process, the chemical reaction is, CaCO3 a CaO plus CO2, G. The standard Gibbs free energy of reaction is approximated as I gar degree re armor equals 177,100 to 158 T. The standard free energy of reaction is zero in this case when the temperature, T, is equal to 1121 kelvins, or 848 a degree Celsius. Examples of chemical decomposition reactions common in calcination processes, and their respective thermal decomposition temperatures include, CaCO3 a CaO plus CO2. 848 a degree Celsius, see also calcination equilibrium of calcium carbonate. Oxidation, in some cases, calcination of a metal results in oxidation of the metal. Jean Ray noted that lead and tin when calcinated gained weight, presumably as they were being oxidized. Alchemy, in alchemy, calcination was believed to be one of the twelve vital processes required for the transformation of a substance. Alchemists distinguished two kinds of calcination, actual and potential. Actual calcination is that brought about by actual fire, from wood, coals, or other fuel, raised to a certain temperature. Potential calcination is that brought about by potential fire, such as corrosive chemicals. For example, gold was calcined in a reverberatory furnace with mercury and sal ammoniac. Silver with common salt and alkali salt. Copper with salt and sulfur. Iron with sal ammoniac and vinegar. Tin with antimony. Lead with sulfur. And mercury with aqua fortis. There was also philosophical calcination, which was said to occur when horns, hoofs, etc., were hung over boiling water, or other liquor, until they had lost their mucilage, and were easily reducible into powder. References